When I started dabbling with JavaScript and Node.js three years ago, the most interesting feature or claim was that, hey, you will get to write JavaScript code on the server and share it with your client. And until 2020, this was almost impossible to write, right? People say that you, they can write the same JavaScript code, but Node.js code is very, it's very, very different than uh, the browser's code because Node.js uses kind of a different format. This is changing with the latest ES modules and uh, with the introduction of modules, now this is possible. In this video, I want to show how can we write a module in JavaScript and have it execute on the browser and have the same library, the module that we wrote, execute on Node.js. So in this case, I am going to write a module that fetches all the emojis in GitHub and essentially display them on the browser using this MJS library that I'm gonna write. And I am going to use the same library to write Node code to actually fetches that content. And since we are in terminal, I'm just gonna print it. These are all the emojis. URLs. So if you're interested to know how this is done, stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Hussein. On this channel, we discuss all sorts of software engineering by example. So if you want to become a better software engineer, consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. That's it. Let's just jump into modules. All right. So I'm going to start a brand new Visual Studio Code project. And the idea of what we're going to build here is we will try to build a library uh, using this new extension called uh, MJS or Michael Jackson files, okay? <laughs> and these MJS files, which I stand for the JavaScript modules, are the ones that will save us and they will able to be run on, the, on JavaScript and on Node.js. That being said, you will have to use the latest Node.js for this to work and which is 13.9 or later okay so let's go ahead and do that mjs uh github shared code right browser whatever we're gonna call it this is the new project i'm gonna create and the first thing we're gonna create is a file called github.mjs okay and this will be our beautiful class library that we will have to do all this stuff right we'll use the fetch module the fetch command to actually make a request to the github uh, reap uh, to the github url and fetch all those emojis from there however fetching the cost the idea of fetching url or data or making http calls is different from node.js to the browser because the browser uses the fetch api which is a built-in function however the mode node.js uses also the fetch api but you have to import it so in order to do that let's start doing this thing okay so let's go ahead and declare a class called uh, github and we're just gonna do a constructor nothing much here in the constructor all right so in this class what we're gonna do is we will have a function called emojis and this function emojis i'm gonna make it an async function because i'm gonna use async await so i can use this stuff and here's the thing this we're gonna use a fetch command to actually make a request to the back end and retrieve the results however in order to do that, we need that fetch API, right? And that fetch API, we will have a function called get the fetch API. And here is the interesting part. The fetch API in Node.js versus in browser, they are a little bit different. So here's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we will try, we will do a try catch. First of all, we will try to import the node fetch module, all right, for, for, to, to get the fetch API from the module. If that fails, right, that means most of the time we are in a browser. So we're going to catch it and we'll get the actual fetch API method, okay? There might be better ways of doing this. This is one of the best ways that I found, okay? Let me know if there is a better way of doing this, okay? I love to get always a get, great ideas. Do I try catch, ex, and 
what we'll do is that we're gonna do a const node fetch equal await import node dash fetch and this is a replacement for the require that we used to do guys remember because require is not really it's a common js pattern right where which is not supported in the browser now this import is actually supported in the browser so the browser will not actually yell at us when that so import on the other hand is actually recognized by the browser so it will actually execute and will not fail right and also it is now also recognize in Node.js, so this will also execute. So what will happen here, we will lazy load this thing, and if this fails by any chance, this is like any other essentially promise call, we will go and catch that thing, okay? If that succeeds, then we will get to this line, and immediately we're gonna return the actual function that we will make the call. And that function is called nidfetch.default, okay? The default function of this thing will actually execute it, okay? Obviously, we need to remember to install that Node.js. And in this case, if that failed, that mean I am in a browser or I have not installed not fetch, or both, both of this thing, okay? And instead, if this failed, all I wanna do is literally return fetch. In this case, fetch is actually no, well known for the browser, okay? That's why it will essentially just return and you can use this function, okay? Now I have this function. What I'm gonna do here in the emojis, I'm gonna do const f equal get fetch. I have to do this, not get fetch. And all I have to do is just basically call the function. So I'm gonna do github https api.github.com slash emojis. I hope I missed still emojis correctly. Now we will have the emojis call. And since this function is also asynchronous, we need to fetch it in an asynchronous manner using a wait. All right, so this will give me the function and this exact function should work in a browser and Node.js. And we're gonna find out how. How about we start with Node.js, right? So we're gonna go ahead and create a new index.mjs file, right? And uh, the first thing we need to do, import. Import GitHub, right? Because that's exactly the structuring assignment. From where? From uh, github.mjs. That's how we import a, a file of an object from this mjs file and uh, it's gonna match whatever you have there. and we talked about modules guys and uh, javascript modules i'm gonna reference the video if you want to go into detail on that All right so let's write a function called run obviously don't forget to call it <laughs> and call it async because we like async and because uh, we're gonna do some promising stuff so let's just do a try catch here just the old anything really and here's what we're gonna do we're gonna create a variable called github object actually equal new github just instantiate that puppy right instantiate it and then once we get that we can technically call emojis function right now we're gonna use a wait we will get a response back right and that response is just the actual the whole raw binary stuff not binary the whole raw payload and we need we know it's a json so i need to convert it into json so i'm going to do a wait result json i know it's a json so go ahead and convert it into json again we need to use a uh, asynchronous stuff and then uh, i know what i'm gonna receive is actually a dictionary okay so i'm gonna loop through the keys of that dictionary and uh, yeah for each key literally go ahead and print k let's just use this there key and then how about that we use j sub key that will be the url that will be the actual whatever the image all right we're ready to run what did we forget we forget to initialize npm npm dash init y and we also npm install because we are a node. What do we need, guys? We know this node fetch, right? Otherwise, we can't really make a fetch request, can we now? Yeah. And toll. Make sure to spell right, guys. Don't be like me. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready to rack and roll. Let's go ahead and start debugging. And if I go to this, 
you can see that this stuff is actually running. This is the woman judge, right? And world map and all that stuff. Boring. I need to use the same exact library, but in a browser. What does a browser look like? Well, HTML, right? So how about we write an HTML page? Not HTM. This is not 1999, right? HTML5. When does HTML5? Well, how do we do that? Here's the thing. MGS library are special script tags. So I have to do script type equal module. You have to tell me that's actually a module. So we can, we don't yell at you when you use import because this is the same exact import guys, the same copy and paste, use it. Okay, use an import from the actual module that we have. And since it's in the same folder, that should work, right? And then what are we gonna do? Eh, how about we do the same thing? Actually, I'm gonna steal the code because it's JavaScript, baby. We can share code now. It's 2020, right? And obviously, we need to actually run the function so we can execute it. And, and obviously, we need to host this index.html file, SSL file on a web server so that in order to do that, you can use the live server, you can use any web server you want, you can use Nginx, right? And then once you do that, you can see there is nothing, obviously, but if you go to the actual console, there is all the beautiful stuff. It actually worked. The same exact code worked, guys. That is so awesome. You can build a library and ship it, and people can use it in their Node.js backend and their front end. That is awesome. But how about that? My front end is a little bit different. My front end is fancy. My front end does not print console. My front end actually I create an image, document dot create element, and then we can call image.source is equal to j.k, right? The URL. And then document.body dot append child. Append the child image. We can append that image. So it's just like doing some JavaScript y module stuff. And because we're using live server, refreshing, auto refresh, we get that. Hey, it's my country, Bahrain. Look how awesome this thing is. All right. All right, guys, that was it for me. Short video a little bit, but I don't want to, I want to really show that you can do this now, right? Not a lot of people talk about that stuff. So I wanted to show that in 13.9, at least maybe a little bit earlier, you can actually do this. Still, it's experimental, but it's actually now you, you had to do this goofy stuff, dash, dash, node experimental. I didn't have to do that anymore. It looks like it's it's live, it's public. So make sure to install Node.js 13. I have 13.9, but the latest 13.11. And that should work. Never, don't install 12. 12 won't work. This will want to work out for All right, guys. I'm going to have the source code below in the description. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.